Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Uh, for a long time I've been carrying my picks in a case like this. This is for my automotive picks and as you can see it's pretty much a mess. You've got everything in there floating around and it's not very nice so put that aside. The other option is these Lishi type holders. They are good but you can only then connect them with the other Lishis so you've got to get the same black ones or the same white ones to interlock them so they slide together so that you can start to create like a little case of them and unfortunately like uh, most people you buy a couple from here a couple from there and next minute you know you're left with all these things sort of floating around so I thought the better option for this might be is just to purchase a, a proper bag for it and I got this one off eBay for about $30, $40 so I thought I'd give you just a look at it there it is there uh, rough size on it uh, 330, 330 width, 190, uh, probably about 40 mil. So it's not particularly big. Now, when I was purchasing, I was speaking to another locksmith, and he says, "Oh, don't buy one of them. Don't buy one." And I thought, "Well, why not?" And his theory was that if you leave one pick somewhere it's no problem but if you leave all of your picks somewhere it can be quite an expensive disaster and I understand that and that is a possibility you can also get things like um, these little Clipolo tags or Bluetooth tracking tags and put one of them in there as well uh, because it is like an asset and that way if you have any troubles you can sort of find it all right so let's just go through and see what's in you know how this sort of thing works so we've got a zipper that goes all the way around it looks like a good quality zipper which looks good it looks to be built of some sort of canvas yeah, it has a handle on the top and uh, the name on the on the back of it. So the sewing and whatnot seems quite good. We'll start at the back. It has a flap, no Velcro there. Some uh, feels a bit uh, leathery, you know, and a pouch, a reasonable size pouch on the inside. Rough on that, about 300 by about 100, with just a flap that goes over. Then you move over to this side here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six spots for your Lishi tools, some sort of. Uh, elastic strap there I'm not too sure how that works because I would have assumed you just put your tool in under here like this you should be able to put your tool in under there like that and that goes over the top or maybe you do something fancy I'm not sure I can't work out why they've got that there uh, the elastic there if you know what it is leave it in the comments uh, once again one two three four five six one two three four five six so 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 40, 42, 48, 48 plus we've got a couple here too. So probably about 50 plus these particular, these section here. So would say 50 Lishy picks you could put in there plus you can put something in this one here. There is a pouch back here and there's just one of these clear ones up the top and a flap to go over the front and you can also put in stuff down the back so it will possibly get quite bulky when it's all, all loaded. Um, just loading it there I was a bit taken back about um, how you actually put them in. I guess you just lift the little bit of clear plastic and you just slide it in. Okay that seems to work. Um, pulling them in and out I can see this plastic edge here is probably going to wear or crack over time of jamming something sharp in there. But I guess you just got to be careful with it. Looks like there's some sort of handle carry on the side there, which is not too bad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put all my tools into this one and um, all my lishy picks, and hopefully that would uh, save me from having a pile of uh, stuff that's floating around like that. So hopefully it will be a bit of a, a space saver for me. We'll have to wait and see. Um, as far as the build of it, yeah, I mean, it takes a lot of work for 30 bucks. It takes a lot of work to put all the materials and put them all together and do it like that. The clear windows do give you access to your tool so you can flip them open and quickly see what tool you've got and six is probably you know probably about right one one brand of car another brand of car another brand of car two brands of cars so yeah i, I can see it kind of working these are spaces along these sides here uh well could be for for a number of things I'm not exactly sure uh, what you'd want to put in there but there might be something uh, something else that will you know something out of the way like one of those funny like type of little picks that you might have I've got one uh, here actually here's one I'll probably put in there oh, I had one there it goes a Tibby ignition pick um, so that one and there's a door lock pick as well so it's the sort of thing there you need but can take up space and you've got to put it somewhere another tool that uh, is commonly misplaced is the Commodore J, J pick and I'll show you one of them 
that's the Commodore JPEG. So that's something else that I'll be putting in here and keeping and having an actual allocated spot for. If you don't have an allocated spot for some of these tools when you go to use them, if they're just floating around, it can be a bit of a pain to, to find them. So I think by just having an allocated spot in the one pouch, you grab it, you've got everything you need. So. Okay, so I've just put some picks in there and seen how it all sort of fits together. So these picks fit quite nicely. I've got the smart ones, the ones with the Lishi face on, they fit nicely, no problems there. A few of the Toyotas, one of the, what they call the genuine Lishis, I'm noticing that this little handle here, I can't get it to sit flat, which means that these little reading gauges, they kind of stick out. Oh, there we go, push it down. So that, you know, if they're not down flat, they can put a little bit of pressure on, uh, on them as well, especially when you've got it all together and it's pushing down. But they do fit in there quite nicely. Uh, so that's, um, I've got the Auto Smart in there, I've got the Genuine Lishi and the Lishi with the Mr. Lishi's face on it and they all seem to go in quite nice. Also the two-in-one glow-in-the-dark ones there too. Now I did have some of these older Genuine Lishi uh, type reading ones, the real big long ones that come with a separate pick. Um, that seems to be what the long the long section was for and I've managed to put the instructions down the back here too so I guess that's where the instructions go. So all in all I'm fairly happy with it and it looks quite neat. I just need to get a few more now to fill all the other compartments. Okay, thanks for watching.